Well, welcome to Faith. It's the first time I'm starting up the game. This is a horror pixel game. September 21st, Okay. That sound is fucked up. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Honestly, get rid of that fucking sound and the game would already be better. <laughs> I'm playing the deluxe version. Um, I don't know if I need to mention this, but someone donated to me to make me play this game. Not necessarily to make me play this game, but they donated money to me and told me to get this game from the money they donated. And maybe I enjoy recording it and I've taken a look at screenshots. Um, and it seems to be fine. So we can begin, we can get instructions, we can get to the extras and we can quit. Do we want to read the instructions first? No, actually no. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's me playing this video game. Of course I'm just gonna get right into it. Back. New game. And continue. Uh, warning, will reset save data. I don't have any. <clears throat> okay, so I don't like the voice acting. <laughs> Everything else. Well, as I said before, it's a pixel pixel horror game, so already it's it's not ticking my boxes, what can I say? It's just it's an indie game too. So are we investigating we seem to be some kind of exorcist, I think, and we are investigating somewhere we've been before. There's a deer here? Hello? No? I can press space, which Okay, it's a cross. Where do I go? Just up? Can I run? No. It's no run. Escape pauses the game and the music. It's very loud music. Another deer? Do I need to follow it? Oh god! Okay. <laughs> what was that? Let's follow the deer. Went here, right? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look nice, does it? What is it even? Chaos Reds. Uh, I agree. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> well, I can't take this seriously so far, but it's gonna make me it's gonna make me piss my pants in about two minutes time. Just wait for it. Because I'm sure there's gonna be a jump scare I'm not prepared for. I I anticipated <laughs> I anticipated a monster appearing in the woods, but not like this. It, what is it saying? I'm gonna have to listen back to this while editing, but is it like backwards sounds or something? Is it saying something in, in tongues? Let's see. Can I not interact with this? Come on, I can read that, can I not? It's weird that using my cross makes me interact. <laughs> Maybe I can't read it, who knows. I can't read after all in real life too. So... Oh, that tree? Oh, it said run, run, run. I can't... Oh. I'm lighting up the tree. Oh, I need to hold it. Oh, I exercised the tree. Okay. Oh, thank God. No voice acting in this one. Um. <sighs> Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. Uh, I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Huh? <laughs> Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Space or a button is exit. Is it a button or a button? I don't know. I don't care. I don't have a controller plugged in right now. <laughs> Oh wait, we've been here before. Chaos Reds. Is it is it gonna send me an enemy again? Are we looping? Let's follow it again. Oh god, this is gonna be a video of me trying to find my way for 30 minutes. Oh god! Oh god! Is it follow me? Oh no, it's not following me across screen transitions. Okay, it came pretty close. Is there... Uh, do we have... Oh god! Oh fuck me. I guess we don't have a health bar then. Well, that's Mortis for me. 
Which means death, I assume. Oh, are you shitting me? No checkpoints? Ooh, actually. Can we can we follow the road? We can. That's interesting. It's oddly open world. It feels empty too. <laughs> so it, it does that thing right, open world wise. I can do this all night, Faith. I have a lot of time to record right now. Oh, we are looping, I think. Get exercised, car. Out with the evil spirit in you. Can I go down? If it's looping, then this should lead me... No, okay. It's not leading me to my destination. <sighs> Why is it following the deer now? Okay, let's just go up, 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 up. Let's continue going up. I hope the deer doesn't die. Hello. Oh, well, well. Timmy? Timmy, have you fallen down the well? I can exercise it again. <laughs> Why is everything possessed in this game? You're invited by a creepy clown. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Oh, good lord. Um, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Turn right and go straight past the well. Well, we already turned right, right, with our car. So right is up for us and go past the well, which would be up up ahead. Nope. Oh, running against the tree, I guess. Okay. Can I exercise any random things? No. Why am I just not running around with my cross in front of me? Like, constantly. <laughs> to get rid of monsters. Does it need to recharge? God! Please! By the power of you and anime on my side, I shall never die again in this game. Uh, let's exercise. It's weirdly 2D as well. <laughs> what do you mean it's locked? Does it have a back entrance or something? Did I need to find a key first before getting here? It's a very weird... This is a weird experience, holy shit. I don't know. I feel like I'm tripping balls. I'm not sure what to think about this, the um, artificial CRT lines on the screen too. I don't know if it comes across in the video later. So there's two games of this and I think a third one is coming out soon somewhere down the line it's on steam but you can't buy it on steam yet so i got it on itch.io for literally one buck i think the second game has a similar price point oh okay let's continue exercising this then interesting mr martin it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings... Gravestone rubbings? To some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Uh, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. So I guess I exercise all of them? I can't exercise this one. Funny that I could with this other one. Also can't exercise this one. Okay, so this is left. Let's go right then. <clears throat> so far the game is very chill with the odd encounter of an enemy. As long as it doesn't spawn behind me. I'm fine because you can turn around like, very quickly, I guess. But it it has been chill, yet at the same time, not engaging in, in a way. <laughs> I don't know if, th if this makes for a good Sunday video, to be honest. Well, you guys decide. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep playing this. If it's good, somewhere down the line, I guess we'll play the second one too. Oh look, 
a puddle. Or a pond. It's not a pond, is it? It's just a puddle. I can exercise it, though. What do I get? I need a key. I don't need lettuce. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last, last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. Dig it up? Why did you dig it? Dig it in the first place? And where's the storage? I need a rifle. Do I? I wonder if there's gonna be... Oh! Is that the storage? Or is it just a regular shed? The Martin's house lies about a hundred years old. Yeah, so, sorry. The, the font is very weird. Fucking use another one, please. It's so hard to read. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find a house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father all red seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off, in the, off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Which reminds me that there's been a, a series of the exorcists, right? It, it aired in German television, and it was kind of alright. It was a little bit over the top. Oh shit. Did you... Is it gonna... I saw something outside. Okay. It's not gonna run... It is gonna run past again, okay. Okay, let's trigger it one more time. Here we go. Okay, I guess it's gonna get in as soon as we pick up the key. Calling it now. I've played enough horror games in my time to know this. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it kind of scared me still. Oh, there's a save symbol at the bottom left. So the game is saving? Maybe it's saving my item progress or something? Is it... I got a crooks and a clavis? <laughs> I, uh, I, I think... And you're gonna think I'm pretty smart for knowing that, but I think that's Latin for key. And crooks is Latin for cross, I guess. Also in German it's called Kreuz. Huh? Bet you didn't know in, I knew German, huh? That's right. I don't know what it's called in Japanese, but... Oh, good lord. Uh, I will investigate and research. Bob! The kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy, Amy is the, is the girl that was about to be exercised, have started the next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be good a good idea to touch it. Never! Never would that be a good idea, whether you live in the woods or not! I think we might have a coyote problem, because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. And the kids just played around in the gore? What the f- What? What? All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Uh, I guess I wasn't looking in the right direction. <laughs> Well, now we have the key. We know. Oh, oh, we even saved the location. All right, that's pretty cool. I don't need to run all the way anymore. Uh, wait, what's up here, right? Do I need to exercise it again to get the message? Do I need all these messages, or is it going to be the same, or is it random? No, maybe this is the place. Um, God, I need to scroll all the way down. Maybe this is the place where they found the deer, huh? Maybe these are bones. They don't look like it, but it's a pixel game after all. Remember. Even our, like, protagonist swaying around with his head left to right. <laughs> it's supposed to be a human, I guess. Quite a lot of downtime in this game. Oh, here we go. There was something in the windows again. Something blue. Uh... 
the music changed. It's so loud. Fucking hell. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair. Wait. He led us down to the basement. She was down in restraints. And she was in the back of the attic. Isn't the attic, like, the floor on top underneath the roof? Or am I just a dummy as hell? I don't know. Uh, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Yes, th that's the most creepy thing. When a child looks at you with the knowledge of an adult, you don't want that to happen. The music stopped. I'm gonna piss myself in a second. I needed to go to the toilet when I started this recording session. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew that I was going to play a horror game. And I just know that I'm going to have to change my pants afterwards. Happens every time, Jesus Christ. Oh, TV. We need to exercise that. Sinner. Let's not get into religion here. Uh, better not. No, plant? No. Picture? Picture? Clock? I don't know. Oh, there's something colorful here. Can exercise it, okay. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Nate. Well, Nate, who is that red cultist and the black mm, weird weird guy? At least man he got the sun, right? So this happened out in the sun? What the fuck? What is that? Like a banana on a tray? And some red, maybe a tomato, maybe an apple? Oh, I could go for an apple right now, but I'm allergic to apples, sadly. I can only eat them when they're baked or cooked, basically. Can't eat them fresh, which is, it, it is a shame, since I love apples. And I loved apples when I was a child. Okay, is that Amy? Isn't that a little bit fucked up for them to have three kids and a picture up with only one of them? <laughs> I mean, if you have several pictures... And then you have some where you only have one kid of yours in them. That's fine. But since this is the, literally the only picture I can interact with here, it feels kind of, kind of weird. Guess I need to go. Is this upstairs? I guess. Okay. Some gym equipment. Guess the father wanted to stay buff or maybe the mother. Look at that. Look at those dumbbells. I wonder if I can lift them. No, I can't get buff, sadly. Just like in real life. The lack of music is really weirding me out, by the way, because I can hear myself talk very clearly. And as much as I complain about loud music, at least it masks the shit I say to myself. Oh, I can exercise the rubber ducky. Okay, I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. Hmm, I can relate. I hear voices outside around the house at night, I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. You shouldn't in the first place. I mean, what time is this? Did it say a year earlier? I don't know. Um, I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. You're fucking haunted, girl. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. He's gonna return only to kill her? Or did he? is he gonna bring the priest? Is he gonna get the priest? Shh. This is a big-ass bathroom, all things considered. Look at how tiny we are compared to the bathtub, too. You could easily fit two people in there, which, for a bathtub, that's a lot. If you've ever been in a bathtub with more than one person, maybe even more than two, maybe three, four at once. You know how tiny a bathtub can be. I guess I was the only one who fought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. When I first met her? Oh, I guess this is from the priest's perspective again. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of 
deception from the demon. During our conversation, she... Sorry, I think I hit my mic there. Um, during our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began to write again. <sighs> Please save the game. <laughs> I feel like we're about to reach a point of... Pant pissing. Okay. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Oh my god, is that racist? <laughs> I, I can't tell, to be honest. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Wait a second. How old is Amy again? The twins are six. They had a sixth birthday. But Amy is working at the clinic. Yet she still gets dolls for, for her birthday. And she wants a phone. I can't pinpoint neither the e era this game is playing in, nor how old Amy is. Maybe I'm confusing some people here. No, I guess this is the twins' room. Oh, very good. Very good. A map of the world in your kid's room? I have the same. I have the same set up in my, in my baby's um, bedroom. I hope it's going to look forward to using it in a few years. Nothing to interact with here, really? Can I not exercise, like, their toys? I guess the twins must be possessed, too, since they played it with, like, the deer blood. No? Wait. It said something about the attic, but I couldn't open the door, could I? I can't, but I need to. I guess I need to go up there. Did I miss an item somewhere? Maybe if I go down, there will be an enemy there. Gonna have to brace myself. No? Maybe if I leave? The game will advance? This feels like a point-and-click adventure now. No? Okay, let's go back in then. Am I stuck already? Fucking hell. Uh... Well... <laughs> that wasn't the case before. Why can I not exercise it? I love working mirrors, though. I'll, I know, I know. This is a 2D indie game. It's probably made very simply. Very simply? Simple? I don't know, but... Still, it's it's a nice touch. I just love mirrors in video games. I love mirrors. I, I love water. I love skyboxes in video games. I love a lot of weird shit in video games. Can't go out the back. Should I have dug up Oh wait, is this oh is this a stairway? To the basement? It fucking is, and I can see blood. Well crap. Kinda regret going here. If only I could save like properly playing this game. I would I think I would end right now because I don't want to piss myself. I'm sorry everyone. As much as I as you look forward to it, I don't want it to happen. Okay, let's get wet. Is there a head in the washing machine? That's always a common thing to happen, right? What is that white stuff here? Oh, I can exercise this. What even is this? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba? It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. Interesting. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte or Saint Death. I could have I could have translated that too. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I've prayed to San La Muerte. Well, then you have prayed, you idiot. He told us about the time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte and the figures made things in the house move around. Mm-hmm. Sure. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. <laughs> Why would he tell you this then? We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. He's dead. San La Muerte got to him first. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton. Oh no, Professor, please no. 
Not you two. Oh, fucking hell. I guess these are dolls for clothes or something. One of them is going to come to life. I exercised the sewing machine and one of them will. No? Okay. Guess not then. Maybe later. Do I need to find the right one to exercise? No? This is a big basement. I wish mine was as big as this. Oh. Hmm. Well, let's ignore this for now. I mean, I, oh, I guess, oh, it was barricaded then. I went the right way around first time without even noticing. Uh, is it following me? I didn't pick up the letter yet. What am I doing? Okay, uh, with that weird music in the background, Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the ride for long. Mrs. Martin, who is Derek, was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Nice. Father already asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father already lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in a chair. Oh, good lord, they went back. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with the music. Am I being chased or not? I can't tell. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, creepy music. Bloop, bloop. Do, do we just leave? What is happening? It's very loud for my ears, please. What was that? Did I advance in the story or not? Maybe I need to go down there again, investigate. Did I break it by going out and in of the circle? Let's investigate the circle again. <laughs> Am I playing this game right? I, f I feel so bad. Like, genuinely bad, as in the game skill sense that I'm doing something wrong here. Okay. Let's investigate the creepy circle again. Maybe I need to... Oh, I needed to get hit by it. Alright. <laughs> I guess I escaped. Um... Hello? Yes. Why am I up here, though? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> what does this mean? What is the sound supposed to do? Wait, does it say anything? No. She's here. Okay, yeah, but where? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I think this more this is a good way to end for, for now. I think the game saved. I hope the game saved. It should have saved. Oh god, I'm not sure if it saved or not. But I, I had enough for now. I didn't really get scared, but it is making my ha hair stand in my neck and like making me feel all tingly down there too. In a weird way. So I should just end it for now. Um, tell me if <laughs> if this is okay. By the time this goes out, your turn to die should have ended, I guess. I, I, I'm... Oof. I don't know what to think about this. But we're gonna continue playing it. I want to get to the bottom of this now. <laughs> I'm weirdly invested in the story already. I want to know what happened with Amy in the end. I guess we are, we were the one writing these letters since in the beginning it said I need to go back. So we were the helping um, priest. We, we weren't Father Allred, but the other guy. Did I get that right? Am I getting the law right already or wrong? Possibly. Very possible that I'm getting it wrong. Anyway, thank you everyone. I, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And 